Hi, today is the day I will read the last bit of my ideas document and clean it up for good. And it's the best time for you to clean up your to-do list and learn what you always wanted at your own convenience using my sponsor Brilliant.org's interactive courses. Use it for free for 30 days, signing up from my link Brilliant.org slash Electroboom. More at the end. I had this document for a long time adding your ideas and submissions once in a while to it and at some point I realized all I'm adding is just free energy nonsense but there might still be some good hidden treasures in there and in my last video I checked it I was able to knock out more than half of it so let's see if we can knock out the rest Plasma Vortex Oh yeah these things yeah, this is actually real. I wonder if I can make one. I do have my high voltage DC generator. DC is the keyword. And I do have a round magnet with north on one surface and south on the other surface. And that's key too. I connect the magnet to one side of the output and the other side of the output to a needle that goes to the middle of the magnet. Let's turn it on and see. This is not super conductive. I mean, not conductive at all. Let me stick some aluminum to its surface. Like this. The reason the arc turns is exactly the same as why a homopolar motor turns, which I explained it in my old video, go watch it. But basically for a magnet like this, the magnetic fields all flow in the same direction in the middle of the magnet. And with a DC arc, the current runs almost perpendicular to the fields in one direction. Now, if you remember from the right hand rule song, there is a force always perpendicular to the arc that keeps pushing it around in a circle. I bet you can do the same experiment without an arc, with salt water and battery maybe. Just put some salt in the water and mix it. Place the magnet in the water, add some pepper so we can see the current flow. We can probably use a single AA battery, but I have a 12 volt battery. Connect one side to the magnet and the other side to some copper wire. We put the wire in the water. Wow, look at the flow. <laughs> <coughs> Smells like pepper. And the water is changing color too. What? My wire turned all black. Let's release the gunk. Change the polarity of the battery. And try again. Okay, it's turning the other way around now. But <laughs> hey, all the black from the surface of the copper went away. Fascinating. So in 1800s when people were building radios for sending Morse code signals, a device called a coherer was used to detect radio signals. According to multiple sources, the metal particles would cling together, reducing the initial high resistance of the device. Is this some kind of voodoo magic? Let's check the video. So the idea is that if you have like batteries, some sort of power supply across this coherer, which is basically a container with say two metal plates like you see here and some conductive particles like these aluminum balls, then he's claiming that these balls are, you know, sensitive to electromagnetic disturbances in the environment. And although they are not touching right away, as soon as there is an interference, they touch each other and close the loop. So this acts like some sort of switch. Is coherer effect real? Hmm, there is an article on it on Wikipedia. It looks so fake though. How can such a small arc from a lighter close a circuit with some aluminum balls? But there is a wiki page showing evidence of it used before. But how would it work? So many questions. I feel like it needs its own video. Subscribe now to see me rectify it. Delete. Free energy company. 
IE powers everything. Most of our U.S. energy infrastructure predates the turn of the 21st century. Our energy grid is outdated. Introducing Zero Grid, the ability to generate power where you consume it. Powered by the Earth Engine. What's an Earth Engine? I personally, and I say this sincerely, these are all promo videos. Where is the information video? How is this possible? Earth Engine operates on the same principle as the slingshot effect. Slingshot effect? Same effect my... Earth Engine is the only known power source propelled by a symmetrical magnetic propulsion. Oh, so we are talking about the basic magnet pushes magnet forever and ever free energy nonsense? Can you believe they made an entire company to scam people? It can run 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. It is not reliant on a reaction or burning of fuel source. If it is not consuming any other source of energy to create energy, free energy! Pull that out of your brains. Is Earth Engine real? Okay, what is this? Earth Engine is not a perpetual motion machine. Earth Engine uses the force created from two opposing magnets. Magnets are a depleting resource that requires recharging every three years. Okay, let's discuss this. There is some energy required to turn some molten metal into permanent magnets. How much energy is that? How much energy is... How much energy can a magnet store? So we get about 50 kilojoules per meter cubed of a magnet. Do you even know how much is 50 kilojoules? Imagine you have a 12 volt battery and draw one amp from it. Energy is voltage times current times time. So 50 kilojoules divided by 12 volts divided by one amp. It means you can draw 12 watt of power from it for 4,166 seconds. So if you had one meter cube worth of magnet and were able to somehow draw all its potential energy out of it, you could run 12 watts for around an hour. And that's basically nothing. That's not how we generate energy using magnets. We are not pulling energy out of the magnet itself. We move magnets beside coils by putting mechanical kinetic energy into it and the moving magnetic fields converts that mechanical energy into electrical. Nowhere in the universe useful energy is created by pulling the insignificantly small potential energy inside a magnet. It helps convert energy, not create it. So whatever they're making is fake and won't work. Delete. Crap, yes. Oh, that's misspelled. Double P. Free energy. Oh. What is he doing? He covered his magnet with some cloth. Removes the cloth. And it starts turning. <laughs> Did you know that cloth blocks magnetic fields? <laughs> it doesn't. Delete. Jamming Alexa with ultrasound? Activate this bracelet of silence and Alexa can't eavesdrop. Oh, I have to pay to read it. Delete! More free energy junk. Rubbish! Charging phone with balloon BS. So all you do is you take the cable charger and you put it inside the balloon. <laughs> You then got a rubber to get some static electricity. Delete. Hutchison effect. The remarkable works of Canadian inventor John Hutchison has drawn Canadian. widespread Must attention right. from business when he began using ultra high electromagnetic frequencies to transform matter in some very unusual ways. Oh, look what's happening to the matter right around him. They move. Seeing, All uh, of them. Glass, metal, is a plastic, everything uh, moves. Objects become lighter and can float around. <laughs> I think his brain waves are becoming lighter. What rubbish. Organ energy. Wilhelm Reich? Dr. Wilhelm Reich made the scientific discovery of a previously unknown energy existing in the atmosphere, in space, and within living organisms. Where is it now, huh? Where is it? Oh, government is hiding all this technology from us. Delete. 5G BioShield BS. What's a BioShield? 
do you plug this USB device up your and it blocks 5G? How it works? In our civilization is emerging a new science based on knowledge. Whereas the official old science is based on information. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't use this garbage. Should I buy and try? Hi matey, can you check the guy from my country? He's talking some nonsense about pyramids in Bosnia and how they are magical. And then I saw this. So basically he's claiming that those pyramids were built by ancient people to transmit wireless power like a Tesla tower. I'm so tired of these stupid claims. Review this video, let's see. How to make ice cube with microwave oven? Free energy generator? Puts water in beaker, puts it in microwave oven. Water freezes instead of warming up. Delete. Fascinating electric ball in a bottle. What is this? Oh, this. I've seen this before. I can't tell if it is real or fake, but surely looks pretty real. I'm guessing you must have a noble gas in the bottle and some high voltage close to it so that it starts glowing and then maybe those coils around the bottle create magnetic fields that, you know, contain that glow like that. 200,000 likes and I'll try to make it. Maybe for the next video you can try this fuel server. What is this? Car fuel saver? What is this? You plug something in your car's uh, charger and it saves fuel? Fake! Should I buy and try? How does graduated electronic decelerator work? What's a graduated electronic decelerator? GED is a device that delivers powerful electric shocks to skin described by the United Nations as torture? Behavior modification program? An illustration by a former resident. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please stop it, please! No more! All done! Ow! I should make one of these. Delete. Grounding human pad for health. Earthing bed sheet? Better sleep? Natural wellness? Uh, this is another one of these cuckoo claims. Lying on a sheet of grounded pad makes you more healthy. Should I buy and try? Delete. Free energy. The machine seems legit. Do you watch my videos? There is no free energy! Seems legit. The core issue of our whole civilization, the core reason for non-sustainability comes from centralization. Centralized religion. Well, when you grow your hair, you're a trustworthy person. Be spiritual all you want, but never lose your scientific thinking to spirituality. This proved that the device was being powered from an unknown energy source. And I am so proud of this man who has gone through so much. He's listened to the voice of the divine coming through him. And nah. Fake power source. I watched the video in which you are telling that no one can achieve free energy. Well, I think you're wrong. Because in 2017, an Indian scientist from uh, invented a machine in which he achieved more than 250 percent of efficiency free energy and ether so we will show that the input is less than the output <sighs> is the ability to control space to extract power this is just this seems to be the theme I'm not racist, but it seems like a bunch of white men are finding these scientists from less advanced countries and their concealed secret knowledge and expose them to the world and make a documentary about it. You know they are doing it for money because networks buy them, because you are watching them. Hi Mehdi, this man claims to increase the electricity output using some flywheel sh language and even BBC is covering it to make a video on it. I am Dr. Srinivas Bhaskar Chaganti. Don't I'm care. What is your device? Centripetal force harbored in them. It is called acceleration deceleration when we are destroying 
the entropy is also very important because will be multiplied by 0.5 that is 7200 we have seen flywheel free energy devices before this is another one of those junk free energy is free energy is free energy it doesn't exist you must convert an energy to another energy you can store energy in a heavy flywheel but when you use that energy it stops it's not gonna continuously create energy out of nowhere frequency 5g filter tomfoolery afoot <laughs> what is this total shield emf protection Pah! 320 dollars for this due to high demand color may vary they are trying to make it sound like anyone is paying 320 dollars for this rubbish should I buy and try? It's too expensive. So 500,000 likes. World is full of garbage. Well, at least my document is clean now. <laughs> well, keep sending me your ideas. Some of them may pique my interest. And my idea for you is to use my sponsor Brilliant.org with tons of interactive courses and quizzes from basics to advanced levels in math, computing and science. You can polish or learn new knowledge and skills useful to you and your needs at your own convenience for free too. Oh, with the 30 day free trial. It will be fun for you and everyone learning from Brilliant's interactive content, reading and playing with parameters and knobs and levers to see what affects what. And that sticks in your brain forever. And they keep adding new courses so you can learn forever. I mean, the more I browse Brilliant's website, the more content I find that can help me understand the articles and videos I see online. Like this new course on exploring data visually. Look at me, you know it's good for you. So don't wait, because after the 30 day free trial, you get signing up using my link brilliant.org slash electroboom. The first 200 people to use the link will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Do it! And thank you for watching.